Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 5th XL Hacks weekly video and uh, sorry this one's a little bit late uh, I did get distracted by drawing this picture of a tiger uh, so obviously not what a lot of you want to hear that I got distracted by a picture of a tiger but I'm actually pretty proud of my picture of a tiger so uh, uh, yeah uh, I'll try not to let it happen again but I can't guarantee that next week I won't draw something else. Anyway, let's go with the Axel hacks. Uh, today I've got three good hacks uh, that I, th a couple of them I've actually only recently learnt myself, so I'm quite excited about these ones. First of all we've got copy as picture, which is very useful for taking Excel and putting it into different uh, documents such as Word or PowerPoint or into emails and things like that. Uh, I've then got control and enter, which just allows you to fill things in very quickly. Uh, and then I've got uh, a little bit of VBA for the super hack, which just allows you to amend your mouse cursor. So uh, before further ado, before I get distracted by drawing another tiger, uh, let's get started on our hacks. Right, so our first hack of the week is copy as a picture. Uh, and what a lot of you will find is when you normally copy stuff from Excel into uh, here I'm going to copy it into Word uh, and it'll come through and it'll either come through as tables or embedded Excel sheets or embedded charts and it's all very good and they do have their own advantages pasted like this but obviously that's really messy and now I've got to mess around with it I've got to sort out all my formatting but luckily uh, and unfortunately anyone who's using like 2003 this isn't going to work because it's only in the later versions but uh, they've got a feature in now which is copy as a picture so you highlight the area you want as a picture you then go to copy click on the little drop down here and copy as a picture uh, and I believe in 2007 it's actually in paste not uh, copy but anyway uh, hopefully most of you are using kind of 2010-2013 by now um, you get to choose whether you do it as it's what you see here, which I'm going to do, or whether it's printed, and then whether you just want a picture or a bitmap. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it as default, press OK. I'm going to bring up Word, press Paste, and boom. I've got everything that was in my sheet as a picture, and it's really easy to just embed it within your documents. Uh, and that's not going anywhere now. My table and my chart are linked together, and I can push it around wherever I like. Uh, so that is going to be it for my first hack of the week. Right, let's move on to our second hack of the week, and this is Control plus Enter. So this is a really quick hack, uh, and really useful. Uh, so basically what it does is if you highlight uh, an area, uh, and you're typing something like this, normally it will just let you go through one of them at a time when you press enter but what you can actually do if you highlight an area and type something in so let's say I want to type in uh, hello world uh, if you press control and enter then every single cell or range you've got highlighted is going to fill in with whatever you've typed on that first cell uh, and also it will include formulas so if I type a formula in here and go equals a3 uh, except I actually want to highlight lots of things because otherwise it doesn't work. So equals A3, control enter, and it puts them in all of them and it's going to drop them down exactly as you need them. So as you go down, this one's A4, this one's A5, this one's A6. So really useful. Uh, you can also, if you hold down control when you're clicking, you can select all over the place and then type hello control space and it will fill them all in all over the place so very uh, powerful and something I've only learned recently and wish I'd known for the last kind of four years that I haven't been using it when I've been using Excel a lot uh, so that is it for my second hack of the week right then everyone it's time for our super hack and uh, this week's super hack is being submitted by uh, Rosie, and uh, the, the 
Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this week's Super Hack. Uh, this one's submitted by Rosie and this is the application dot cursor uh, bit of code. What it does is uh, it's probably easier to show you. So here I have a button uh, that says subscription out of range because I've renamed my spreadsheet since I wrote my code. So let me just fix that. Very naughty of me. And then let's just press stop and start that one again. Pretend that didn't happen. Press push me. Uh, and you see, it just counts to a hundred thousand, which is frankly a hack in itself. It's the best uh, best bit of macro writing I've ever done. Uh, but what I want to do is notice as you're pressing it, it doesn't actually notify your users in any kind of way that anything is happening at all. Uh, and there is a very quick and easy way to get around this. Uh, if we go into our code, and all we need to do is simply type application dot cursor equals Excel weight. Uh, and all this does is when you run your macro, uh, this is going to happen first, and it's just going to turn your macro into the timer. Uh, your mass cursor into the timer. What we need to do first is we need to make sure it turns it off. So at the end, we just set it back again to application.cursor equals Excel default. Uh, so now when I press play on this, what you'll notice is that my cursor uh, is doing the timer. Let's press it again. And obviously in the older versions of Windows, it will come up with the kind of egg timer. Now it does its nice little spinny thing that they decided to change to um, and yeah uh, and it just makes it a lot clearer to your users that your code is actually running uh, and reduces the risk of them kind of thinking that your program has crashed completely uh, one thing you have to be wary of is that if it errors then your code is going to leave you with that cursor wait time uh, across all the windows and that really confuses people so let's make sure you put in a bit of uh, code for error handling so on error go to error uh, and then put your error bookmark down at the bottom so even if something goes wrong here so say I try to uh, reference a range that doesn't exist, so dot range, blah, 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 and I'm pretty sure that range doesn't exist. So even if you press play here, it's going to carry on and your cursor isn't going to go do anything wrong. Uh, so let's just get rid of that dot range. Oh, it's going to really annoy me. Anyway, that is the cursor. So. Uh, that's it for this week. Uh, again, guys, if you can submit your uh, own tips and tricks for Excel uh, in the comments below, I really like reading them. I uh, really like learning new things off of you guys, uh, just as much as you guys like learning new things off of me. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I hope to catch you next week with more hacks.